Triple E. Alex is responsible for Donut. Teammate Death catching a Glock to the dome. It lives on and Looks like Mopoz and his P2K are up to no good as well. Linus catching that. It is pressure now from oh. mid into Sun Pius and the USP. Hard clear for Device and does control and tame the spray from his dualies. It's only two remaining for the ninjas. And, you know, Ch uh, Chad, they said, well, Dinko said he doesn't see Ancient being realistic goal for the Movistar Riders. And Yanko quick to attest with the perfect storm. And the, per the first step in the perfect storm is a dominant pistol. If they can maintain five alive and convert cleanly here, Movi off to that dream start. Yeah, there's no way back right now for NIP. They have to go towards this B bomb side. And well, luckily enough, Hampus loves this side here. So, yeah. Ah. Well, maybe not even going to find a kill here. Mopos, just one more to find now. Plopski noted the swarm is coming. Flanking from behind here. The site kind of open for a plant here, but it's on a bit of a timer. Hello. And goodbye. Oh, they are going to be very loud today, I think. And if you miss the context, everybody, how dare you? But basically, the Movistar Rudders, if they win today, they lock themselves in for the major. They're playing for everything. And everything, NIP dude. NIP as well, I suppose. Now, the top four teams in this bracket, G2, Vitality, Astralis, and NIP, uh, there's only three legend spots available. So those four teams are fighting for those three legend spots, and they want to do so by going as far in this playoff bracket as they can. I mean, you know, you've been playing with these guys online. You've been fragging out in the tier two tournaments, been climbing the ladder. And you've got now got your major fate in your hands, your, your name in the game, all of that good stuff. It is a, such a motivating factor for them. So you expect to see the Movistar Riders put it all out there today in the server. Well, here we go. It's going to be a B explode again here. And it's quite passive from the Riders. Fears and deaths. Oh, deleted. It has to be Davi G. Struggling to convert the second. The gap is being closed here on towards the slam. Tucked in. Support from Pius. Problems now. The high flash won't do much. Oh, they catch it. That was Linus. Can't knock off the bomb, but does Dink Rez. One HP on him. Bomb ticking. And they're struggling. NIP, though they have got the sight. They're running out of players. A good shot from Pius. And poor old device last a fall. Good recovery there from the Movistar Riders. They lost a lot into the site. The plant down from the ninjas, though. Yeah, and good stuff from Sampaius there, right? He's the AWPA of the team. Uh, obviously, one of the newest additions as well. And he's actually been one of the most impressive members since joining this squad here. So he had a P250 in his hands. That means we're going to see that AWP come out, I would assume, almost immediately here. Uh, but a decent attempt from NIP. And you're going to see more of this, guys. You're going to see more of these B hits. Now, something that maybe slept on a little bit is the delay between the end of the groups and now the start of the playoffs, right? So there has been a lot of time for the riders to prep for whatever map they think NIP are going to pick. Now, by doing this, by removing Dust2, it's almost put NIP in a position with Ancient still in the pool where they are going to pick it. That means the riders are going to be able to study all the details of NIP and how they approach this map. So if they've done their prep well, right, if they've done their homework, if they have a couple of cheeky beaky counter strats, maybe a pocket strat of their own here, it could be looking very good for the riders. How often do we hear teams talk about playing their own game? NIP like, definitely have that mindset coming in against the underdogs. So if their own game has been analyzed for three days straight, and you don't have, uh, you know, a full back, a backup, a plan B. And that's when you start seeing this converted and suddenly a best of three becomes one map away for the Movistar Riders for major secure or, or to be secured for the major. Now, I do see a little bit of a lean towards A. This isn't where the orb is currently deployed. It's Sun Pius patrolling middle. And if Hampus does strafe out, that will be Sun Pius drawing first blood. Defensive smokes are dropped. 60 second mark reached. And it's up to Mopoz and Alex to deal with this A commit. It's light. Unarmored deagles for the Plopski. I like the crossfire though, right? You got Alex on the jiggle to take contact and then Mopos hopefully will be able to swing off of that. He's looking towards Donut right now. So both of them are able to play off of each other on contact, which is nice. You want to be able to have multiple prongs on your defense. Now this just Rez having a look here and he's open for a kill, but that cheeky line now in towards Cave. Gets oh. a lot of info. Yeah, and they nearly pulled Alex off. He does strike and that, ooh, wasn't the finish he was hoping for. There it is. Comes through clean. It'd be great, but if they can put up a fight and be competitive against one of the best teams in this tournament, that's fantastic. So a lot of conditions today. As Sampai is quick on up and the AWP, it strikes. Hampus is dead. The ooh. nuisance is gone immediately. Yeah, and they're going to go for an A commit, which is, uh, I mean, it's got its potential at the moment. Alex is alone. The smokes will cause him to call for backup and here they come straight through the smoke does convert nip are struggling as i say that plopski and res don't they find the headshots necessary to at least take space take temple bomb not planted some pious 
5-0. and oh. He's been looking great on his conversions with that AWP. But oh, damn, caught through the smoke. Davy G extends play. The bomb will not go down, and the CT is closing that gap. No smokes left now for this NIP in hot water, to say the least. Yeah, I'm he not sure how they get out of this. Has to be res, right? But he's about to walk the street. Oh, into On a timing. Warp. Shots fired. Some pious will. Short of the mark. Oh, that's a tap out of res. And Device has found another two, starting to fall apart. And they know where some pious is. The flashes may not be smokes, but it does enable a plant all the same. Ah, uh, some pious, an unenviable position to be in. He knows roughly where they linger, but so do they. And it's unlikely he gets the fight. Oh. oh. Consider donut for a second, but there it goes. Of the Famous, and there's that Molly. You'll see that one use the skybox and land right there in donut, melting two players. Hamper's got melted as well, so down to 31. He's going to have to scamper away, and guess what? They're not going B here, so. Bit of a change up for NIP. Just got A. I joked with Hamp as I was out in the hallway. I walked past him. He said, oh, Ancient. And I went, oh, okay. You guys just go on B. And he went, yep. Well, uh, not sticking to the script right here. Damn liar. But it makes sense, right? Because if you are the writers, you will have known that fact that they really like that site. If you look at the demos, and you might want to gamble at least forces over to the way a little bit more so. And Hamp is the man. He's just all across the map when he's learned some looking for any tells he can before the rest of his team strikes. This, is, this looks like a bit of a partnership forming. Mopoz and Sun Pius talking to clear mid, but that's what Device was waiting for. Patience prevails. Sun Pius's aggression met with a round out of Device's AWP, and so now they start to regroup, and yeah, I, I can't help but feel like I've been to the future, and it's a save. Well, this is going to be difficult as well here. If Alex doesn't get anything done, right, these smokes are coming on over. They are about to bloom here. If he can't get a kill through the smoke or make this one at least costly to plan. It, it may be that, but there you go. That's perfect. Before the smoke blooms, Alec gets if, one, but it's a four on four now. Yeah, if Mopas can deny this plant, it's game time. The rotate's on its way. This is the spray. Linus with a safe one. Gets it down. Tagged up on the reload. Don't forget no armor for Mopas, and now the bodies drop. Brutality. Yeah, Deaths is tucked in. Aggressive in elbow. There's three, however, starting to surge away from the map. They've got the bomb ticking already. How does he get out now? That's the question. They really are, like, hunting. Look at Hampers clearing B at this point. Spots out another. A nice adjustment of his crosshair. It was misplaced initially, but adjusts. And six already for Rez looking good. The top two performers from the Ninjas roster do seem to be... Uh, very, very awake uh, as of IEU, IEM, EU, EUR remark. If, that one always trips me up. If Death's had a kit here, right, and hang on to do so, but here it is, it's just the pistols for the riders. And this NIP roster, right, I, I, you're starting to see all of the parts and their identities within the team. Rez is obviously stepping things up in recent uh, devices. Performances are starting to look good as well. Speaking of Rez, he is Dink, but Plopski to the rescue. And this was the man I didn't know. Oh, that's a TK. I didn't know what Plopski's kind of role within the team was, right? If he can start finding some form as well, Linus keeps clutching. NIP really become a threat here. La. You see, I'm telling you, Mopoz, if I, if I cast a full best of three with this P2K, I'm swapping. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> it's a threatening one at his hands, and now 3-3 three to three NIP have tied things up. But it gets costly. I mean, that was a full yeah. eco. Three rifles forced to be rebought. It's going to stop the bank account from swelling out of control. Did you see Harry's uh, money bags? I didn't see the NA one yet. He did an NA one. It was, it was, it was good. It's money good. bags, Russell. Yeah, he's, he's having a bit of fun with that, isn't he? But yeah, the NA side of things is getting interesting. The extreme and boys. Making it hard for themselves over there. Look at a uh, game against Bad News Bears tonight, I think. So lots of Counter-Strike all around the trap still, guys. But here we go again. And I think we're going to be returning to regular programming. Yeah, man. Don't sleep on NACS, whatever you do. Oh, keep your eyes on that. Nine, right? it... Yeah, you're true. You've been there, done that. They're just going to go B. Wow. Oh, OK. Well, Davi G's out of position. Rotates on its way. And that is a very good find from Deaths. Just before the util arrives, admittedly, Plopsky has already got himself in such a power position. He's got a nice little gap in that smoke on cave. Oh, he's stuck between these mollies here, though, isn't he? Yeah, certainly could be an issue. Sunpire spotted. Good find. NIP need to turn the table. Linus partners up with Hampus, and it is even trades, which does surely favor that ticking bomb. Device caught out. A missed shot from him. Davi G surely going to finish this one off.
Hampus is on his own and he's only got two HP. Good luck, have fun. Mopos cleans house and a solid retake. Yeah, so the back lane there is a bit of real estate that the riders were able to maintain. And one of those mollies thrown out from NIP, the one that was the deepest, actually missed. It landed on that wall. Otherwise, it would have been completely... So maybe something a little bit quicker here out of these MAC-10s if they'd like. But it's the same mid U2. There's a lot going out of the yeah. hands there. Is this just a feign mid fights? But Mopos will get this info. Look how brave he is. Immediately confirms no one's home. Batten down the hatches on B. And as I say that, well, there are tucked in. It's more of a passive hold. Death would love to... Oof, God, that's Three such towards a tight cake. angle, yeah. And a nice little counter wall bang. It's not really achieved much. Hampers down at 50, but he's taken so much room. Okay, Chad, how on earth do you dig yourself out of this hole? Uh, that's a big problem. Look how much utility right now that NIP have for this post plan. They can keep things smoke, keep oh. it molly. They're going to be out of delay here, but it's 5v5. Yeah, it's not for long. They push for cave control and Deaths happily trades and maintains an advantage for the Movistar Riders. Chaos Coming in now. now. Absolute chaos. Pandemonium hampers down too. NIP can't seem to hold on to this site. Playing retake B seems to be the recipe for success. And from behind, Alex has struck. It's all onto Rez and he's looking deadly. Nearly takes down a second. The gap's being closed and all just swinging from every angle. Whoa. Yeah. The spacing's decent. Death taking fights at the same time as Alex does convert, and just in the nick of time. NIP are going to have to puzzle solve here. And the question is, how much is Threat, right, while watching five different POVs, really able to know? How much is he going to be able to pick up? And out mid they go. That nade, nuclear on device, but they're still in the face. Linus gets Ooh. the kill. They're heading A. Yeah, that's something. That's a, that's a lot to work with. And some Pius is brave to be re-peaking and following that. He's working with a scrap of health, but he still holds his line, holds his nerve, fires his shot. He's lost Alex. Yeah, defensive smoke dropped. He's hoping for the rotate. The cavalry is on its way in the form of deaths and Davi G. The voluptuous double D coming in hot. Bombs nice down. Plan. Yeah, it's safe. Oh, and the flank's coming in as well here. Testable. And Device is looking to lock the door. Oh, oh Deaths, that's a horrible way to go down. And smoke him in. He's going to smoke him in. He might even peek in at the right time. Catches some pious Device, secures it. You can turn the screws here with this one. Back towards B they go. All five coming on in, but four players over towards B from the Riders. There is a chance. There is a small chance, especially with the CZ up close. Hampus is waiting for this fight in particular. And there's the CZ in the feed. They're coming in thick and fast. Plopsky has got the frag necessary, and that util is crucial. Double molly. You cannot go near it. That's bought time for a plant, uncontestable. Trying to pressure lane. They have already got through Cheetah and Cave. So, some pious late to the party. He's only got the CZ himself. It's a big smoke right there. That's going to lock him out. Yeah, I don't see a way back in. Now, they have the smoke kit. They had the smoke kit. It's just... They're going to try this boost. Yeah, maybe you'll get an extra kill or two. Popsky heard you. <laughs> really bangable now. It's so risky to even attempt that right there. And you're just seeing a perfect example there, Popsky. Removes the round from contention. I really do think, like, something bothered me about Ancient, but having all of this, the stuff that looks bangable be bangable again, I think I advise anyone that got triggered when they first played Ancient, have another go. Yeah, it do it, it really does change the way this map plays, especially that B site. And do yourself a favor. Learn. Put it right back to where it started. A couple of extra props, I suppose. Yeah, a couple well, of leaves. The Famous is all that's left here in Hampus. I think he wants to remove that immediately on the deck and Hampus in middle. Well, we've seen what he's done with the USB on the T side. Little boosty jobby. Yeah, good luck with it. It works. That's it. Magic happens. Bye. And Sun Pius alone with a USP against the whole squad. Well, Device and Plopsky, to be specific. They're going to make themselves seem like a whole squad here with a U2. Ooh. Oh, Device, you ballsy boy. There we go. With an AWP on his back, he closes the gap. Just five bullets left for Rez to practice his one taps. I reckon he gets on the last one. Oh. <laughs> oh! Okay. Okay. That's a decent lead now. We know that this map seems to have a bit of a CT. Way. Well, that's the, he wouldn't have enough for a full buy, so I guess, you know, he's just got, well, I, I guess this Maybe is what I need. He's going to hold like a headshot angle. And, no, he's not. He's actually going to push. The armorless fight, and it pays off. The glass cannon AK now equipped. Yeah, it's interesting, but he's doing his job, he right? Is. And we saw that smoke again and how it's come to profit and take down Hampus. So it, it's working. The game plan is working in dribs and drabs right now. So that's his smoke he likes to push through. And we've got three CTs established on B. Davi G is flirting with the idea of having a glance and into the cave. Yeah, that's a cancel. Very deep smoke. They're well ahead of that. At least it isolates the potential trade, but Rez doesn't need help. So he's in. Mopos a huge is super push. Super loud about it. Huge this. push. Oh, he can't. He has to start walking walk now. now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I see. 
but they're actually going back through ledge towards Donut here. Alex can't see them if they stay tucked on under the line of sight right there. Like, they can go in for free. He's going to hear the sound cues, What's so that's given it away. But, Sendery. yeah, Mopos is in the wrong place for this. Ah, this is where it's coming back to bite them here. NIP are definitely going A more often than they usually would right now. And well, the read from Mopos is off. At least he can flank through main, but Rez from Red House here should be getting one for free. There it is. And oh, maybe we even call it the round here. Marooned on the site, Deaths and some Pious. I'm sure they want to save what they have. And Mopos is kind of just being a safety net to make sure that they can't exit. But yeah, that's going to be seven rounds. That happened way too easily, didn't it? It did, yeah. 15 frags for Rez, by the way. It's a quiet 15. Quiet 15. It's really good to see Rez on this form, right? We all remember. We can all reference it. IEM Oakland 2017. <laughs> I was referencing that in 2018. <laughs> I, mean, I can't keep referencing it in 2021. We're going to leave the ancient history behind. But we all know that Rez has superstar potential, right? And he needs that alongside the irrigation works. Irrigation. Yep. Is that similar to Osmosis? Uh, yes, very similar. Well, there's that so. smoke again. So he's bouncing off the wall. So now we've gotten a first-hand look at it here. So and he just walks through it. Yeah, and now I guess he can jump up ledge. Oh, it's so the orb can't hold his cross. Yeah. Ah, of course it is. Brain dead. Alex Richardson. Sun Pius set for success. So he gets jiggled out. Linus has got Orpa's elbow now. Oh, oh, oh no, death. No, no. Careful now. Melty. A little bit hot under the toes there, but both teams have been stalled at. Look at this. I like it. And he's, he's even got oh, armor chat. He's got a kill. Bang. And Hampus is gone. Cost him a great deal, but that will slow them down. NIP going to have to address middle. It's a donut again, though. It's like yeah. the play, but oh, it's... Oh, he wasn't ready for that. Plopsky's quick up there. Davy G did not catch the glimpse of them. Oh, an opportunity for Pius, and he does not let it slip. So set up for their sixth. It's up to Device and Plopsy. Now, they have conceded a 2v4 already, Chad. Yeah, this one here is going to be very difficult, though. Look how split the forces are. Device over towards the ledge and cave area here with the bomb on his back. And Plopsky's already starting to work on that donut control. So Pius has this locked on down. It's a matter of timing. And, well, shot just missing. So Device will be noted. So will the bomb. Plopsky needs to worm in these back lines here. 45 seconds. If he can find a kill over towards A, he can throw this round up in the air. If. Ooh, sound cue. And he's threatening, but an AWP from Sun Pius is threatening. Still, Plopsky causes just enough of a kerfuffle There's for the device gap. to strike. Trying to plant safe. Davy G's not brave enough, or is he? Just pushing the gap. Wow. Bomb goes down, but that's brave from Davy G. On that HP yeah. as well, if that was a fake, right? He's <laughs> dead and it becomes a one-on-one. -on -one. The M4s, the AWP again, and a similar buy over there for NIP. Nice double mollied off, and again, space taken. So it's util a lot to be using Ooh. early. This is in case. Oh, it's so aggressive. Yeah, not bad. Gets the conversion. Confirms this pressure. I really like Cheetah. We call it calling it Cheetah because there's a Cheetah on the wall. I have a problem with that. Oh, tell me what. It, it, it's probably not factually correct for the part of the world this map's set in. Oh. I think it might be a Jaguar. Oh, is it a Jaguar? But oh, we can call it Cheetah. I don't know. I call it I was listening to Not Out Here, and he kept... I know, lamps isn't bad. I used to have a Lightroom call in COD. Lights, lamps, Lightroom. As long as people know what we're talking about. I know, call I just, I just would want, love Alex. it to be universally... Yeah, nothing's accepted. universal. Besides Universal Studios. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hampus pressuring Red Room. They do like these kind of mid-round pivots towards the mid and donut positions. It's... Uh, a much more promising defense this time from the Movistar Riders. You can see Pius is set up to at least call the cross. This is a slither gap for the donut cross. Ah, oh, falls off. Oh, they're selling a bit of a fake here. Oh, not Opus a fake. deals with the red room. So now the flank's not so promising. That's a big catch from Device. And he's flirting with some aggression here. Res may be caught off. Alex from the A house will go unchecked. There's a lot of backs turned here. Well, they're not ready for this, No, they? I don't think so. And this could be the turning factor. Yes, NIP have a man disadvantage, but it could be extended in a big way. Perfect timing and execution from Alex. Looking for his seventh here for the Movistar Riders. Linus can't convert. That's big. And they know where Device was. It should be a defuse. He thinks he's got his crosshair on it. And he already connects it to both. Not the 1v4. Not the 1v4. If he knocks them off again, Chad. If he knocks them off again, he's a bit shy of the mark. And that's it. Doesn't it? So, a couple more window rotations. But here we go again. It looks like a heavier presence towards middle. He's definitely got a lot to play around when he just deploys the smoke. He's, he's stuck now, Alex. Commit to it. Yeah, he's going to get timed a little. 
Tobias may not be expecting it. If he fights Hampus first, oh, that's tagged heard. Out. Yeah, that's very hurt. He still sticks around to fight. Didn't spot out Device. Look at A-Main again, though. Look how much pressure, right? So they can just park Alex here, and then you can get some pies to rotate back with the AWP. I know that they're down a man, but this is still good late. It's a lot of info, right? They can really start either hedging their bets towards what will be a B finish, or they can bolster for any plays through mid. You can see what they're trying to do with some pies. The smoke there, bait in aggression. Oh. Flirting with it in mid. RPG Ooh, gets an opportunity, and there he goes, the trade. Res, good spacing and headshots. He's open. He is good at this video game, and now the B site's open for business. Alex and some Pius were previously dispatched to defend A, and with the final round of play, they're going to give it everything she's got. Two flashes, smoke and a nade, even the kit for good measure, but up against four... About to say Swedes. Three Swedes and an honorary. Yeah, but well, he lives here. He speaks the language. The Danes won't like us saying that. They will not. And here is the aforementioned Dane. Devet strikes and the playoffs of the IEM EU RMR. They'll be securing themselves that legend status and skipping a whole set of play on the major. Do you see them going for the B commit? We have Util in spades. Alex and Mopoz to dispatch that towards the site. Daffy G looking to forge a path with his Kevlar vest and Device has missed his first. Pot shots. Molotov down. Will they clear? Plopski is oh, back and turned. He's down. Takes one with him though. Need to see the plant. This is the big contest. Three of them are contesting with them. And hunting for blood. Davaji does take another with him. So three on three. Well, this boost is nice. I like this. Ah, I hate it now. Loud about it. Looking the other way, though, is Rez, and he strikes successfully. Deaths puts his name in the feed Beautiful. twice, and it's only Hampus. He'd be hard pressed to win this duel. Four bullets, two, and none. That's big for the Movistar. Yeah, but. Uh... Still going to be a tall task once we get into these gun rounds. Let's see if they can get over the first hurdle. Over towards A, NIP actually leaning two players towards Donut. A good read here. Even have one player of Rez hiding on at the tall box near the platform over towards the A site. Now, as they clamp on in, Rez is going to want to hope to draw them in with the crossfire of the Donut players. Let's see if they clear their corners. The flashing timing so far have been great, but uncleared, uncleared. Rez strikes. They'll finally rumble him. Hampus, however, converting. Oh, Hampus! Everything. What an adjustment on the scout. Oh, Molly Star Ride is heartbreaking for them. An unchecked corner and a spicy scout has put Alex into 1v2. It's manageable. Hampus relocating and looking for answers. He could end up flanking here on Alex if he reveals himself shortly. And he already is closing in on Donut. Alex could go around the world here. See what the read entails. Okay, Alex. Okay. I don't know if Plopsky's going to consider this. I mean, it's certainly a possibility for him. Oh, mid. now he knows. Now he knows. At least he thinks he knows. Yeah. Hard head to head. Crosshair was there. Plopsky's better. It's always the, the jump land and then hit the shot. They're always the speckiest. So great stuff there. But here we go. The force by back. And oh, he spotted something. Alex with a nice little tag onto Hamper. So position noted. But going to be denied at the door. That smoke is locking them out for now. And back towards B. We've got a phantom bomb on the site right there. Guys, don't worry, it's not planted yet. I promise you there's no funny business. Oh, that's too easy for Linus. Straight on into his hands. He'll just grab them both. Hampers are here to help things out. And oh, one more kill. Good stuff. Locked it down. The force by dealt with him. This. Uh, yes, eight match win streak from the boys. Oh. Okay, sorry guys, we're back in the action. Uh, everybody's almost dead, don't worry about this, it's just the eco. We'll throw this one away. Two kills, not too bad, considering the purchase right there. And 11 to eight. I really wanna see what the riders have been working on, right? I really wanna see if they've uh, been able to come up with any pocket strategies, any way that they've been able to detail NIP on a map like this, because the ninjas are very good on Ancient. It's crazy that they put it at the top of their map pool, but maybe no surprise with Threat as the coach. Alex, that's brave, and Hampus just collects. Four body shots is all it takes. Flopsky got two to contend with here, and he's just timing it very well. The smoke, they'll have to respect that. Can't be pushing that, boys. There's three players over towards the B-bomb set here for Nappy as well. Right, this is a really nice setup to be able to have. And device is forward. Oh, Shadow spotted. He's chill. 
has 17 kills. Reza has 21. Yeah, both of them have been having a bit of a field day. Now, Humpus has been jumping for info relentlessly. Mopus will be hearing this. Oh, he hears him rotate off. Nick, there's potential for the dankest of flanks here, Chad. Do they want to drop back or do they want to commit B? There's still time. They don't have to commit to this site. And you can see Device trying to find something over the top of the smokes here. Uh, spots the flank, does get eliminated, and that will pull them off the boost. Oh, Plopsky still has no issue collecting, and there's more to come. Can't quite track deaths, and now the pivot's on its way. Mopos, he'll be calling for that. He had some space, not anymore though. As you can see, Rez tucking in much more aggressively than they may have anticipated. He's already back towards the big box. Oh, this is, should be a lockdown here. This, this is so difficult to lock out. Oh, and just as he pulls the pin, death's eliminated. Ooh, oh, he's in temple now. a chance he for Mopos. The low HP, though. And a good catch. In fact, he finds the Time, 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 time. Plant, plant. Just, just. And Rez can't play spoiler, but kept busy enough to extend play. Mopos! Oh, the low HP double. That duel, he also gets the bomb down and wins the one-on-one. -on -one. That could be a pivot round right here yeah. because NIP with a, a bit of an issue in the buy department. Smokes have missed here. With smoke. Yeah, I don't think that's where the riders wanted these to land. These can be used against them as a one-way. So definitely don't walk out mid if you're a Spaniard right now. But NIP, that info, they've used it well. They're rotating. They're getting on their high horses, heading over towards B and locking down that side of things as well. Nice little nade. A land between three, and that's a chunk of damage from Popsky there. Yeah, it really softens them up for the Deegs and the MP9s, respectively. Nice, interesting smoke, and Rez still delivering. Will burn down. There's a lot more ninjas where that came from, though, so don't need to rush this plant. Alex does not clear close. Linus delivers his seventh. They need to find and force Linus off the fight. It's Mopos doing so much for the squad. Device doesn't hesitate to equalize. That's an important miss, at least for the Movistar Riders. They do know where they both are. Plopsky having no issues on his MP9. Again. And yeah, another 1v2, this time for Sun Pius. And they will collect. Nice recovery of nature they had in the best of one group stage. That's great. Uh, it, it's hard to see them winning this series, right? It's very difficult to do so. It's just about them coming in and showing. Because if they do end up qualifying for the major, it's about saying, okay, well, can they contend against the other names? Because we want to make sure... Oh, Sun Pius, this is a freebie, right? Oh, the hesitation. That sucks. Well, Rez to save the day. 24 kills now. I'm just. I'm going to go have a look at Rez's performances so far this event. I don't know why. Every time I think we've done a Rez game, he's been he has. hitting hard. I remember there was a game uh, in the group stage over on that overpass comeback. Ah, that's right, yes. But he had like 0 8, 0 9, and ended up like 25 top of the scoreboard. <laughs> he really did turn it on. Nice for a Mopaz again, at least gives them something to bite their teeth into. The counter, though, is Blobsky, and he's not going to really struggle. Just 20 HP on Mopaz and four targets barreling towards his location. He is being flanked. Hampus, you're not a knife kind of guy, are you? Oh, you are. Yeah, Hampus definitely is. You mean he? He definitely is a knife. Fans. Well, Smoke landed this time, so that's it nice. It did, and they are trying to force the issue with the extinguish. Nades. Flashes, an easy collection, good utility, reactionary utility. He's open right now, though. Not for long. Linus is here, and he's perfectly timed at Sun Pius. Doesn't seem to care. They have the sight. The ghost bomb still on your screens. Don't panic. Bomb yet to be planted, and Klopsky to be cleared. Three of them. So many, and they just overwhelm him. Device keeps us level. Bomb down on that pillar. Careful now, Death, as nades coming towards your location in a very big way. Bullets too. Hampus doesn't even need to see him to kill him. Aggressive from some pies. It's the perfect answer. If they both got smoked out and locked behind it, it could have been a very different round. Now, crossfire established. Davi G can contest. Doesn't have to force this issue. Hard to win this one. I don't know if NIP are going to continue to force the issue because device is gone. They push on in, Hampus one on one and even trades. Let's go. Model Tate. didn't hesitate, immediately make sure he's ahead of them. Smoke top on mid. Standard lane control utility drop, but nothing behind it. Now, we've seen an IP convert one of these before, Chad. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, unfortunately for the riders, they're heading back over towards the A side of the map, and we've seen things go wrong over here, well, a couple of times now. First, you don't succeed. Try, try again. And Device with his AWP posted in Temple. He's going to be paired on up with Hampus, who's in that donut position right now. The other three of them are on a bit of an island on that B bomb site. Their rotation is going to take some time. So an early tell, an early spot of the bomb would be nice. Mid-util will draw Hampus's focus, and it's all on Device now. 
Oh, and he's even going to start rotating here. Big gap there ahead of the smoke. He rotates off completely. Okay, so it's only Hampus. And he's trying to get away with some smoke cheese. Not happening. San Pius, an expert in the cheese. Should be a save. Uh, like, you, you can't give all this up, NIP. You have to be a little bit safer here, and you're not. Deaths, that Ooh. early presence. Out a main, and the AWP is down. Yeah, he hasn't let go of W. Pushing through the temple, walking his way through, does eliminate device. They should have the sight. Deaths again ahead of the util, just to confirm that this is their round. Okay, well, you don't love to save a Deagle and a Famous, but the M4 is nice, and at least it's going to give them something to work with, because... Oh, I'm going to throw the AWP away, so that can't even be scavenged back. Nice little catch there. But what we need to look at right now is the loss bonus. There's only 1,900 in the next round of play. So this is real big issues. And if Mopoz on this chase takes more away, Dire Straits now. Rez in the Predator position up in the bushes. You ain't clearing that. You are, but unfortunately, they've got it all locked down. 12. Okay, well, they're out, and they're very fast towards Donut here. There's the opener. And A... Well, that's open as well. Charging. That's Charging. What talking about it's not far away, is it? No. And it's good to see the confidence in their steps. I cannot emphasize enough just how much of a motivating factor the major being within your grasp of today's play. Yeah, this is I, the thing, man. Like, for these guys who have never attended a major before, we talk, you know, things like, you know, it's the, our dream. It gets thrown around a lot, right? So I think people get desensitized to I it. Do. But but the thing is, like, this is the pinnacle of our game, qualifying for a major, right? Yeah. It is where all the eyes, there's there's all the, the lovely things that come with that, the stickers in the game, the signature stickers. But what that means is this is a craft that you dedicate your life to and you get immortalized in it. This is what these people do every single day. And to be able to play on that stage, to be in that environment, it truly does mean the world, right? It truly is the, the dreams of these individuals who, who are spending day after day sacrificing so much because they love this thing. And that that is a motivating factor, especially for passionate people like the Spaniards, right? It, look, like, you know that... You, I can only imagine they're selling... Hungering for it. Put yourself in the shoes of Mopoz, who's been on this roster since 2017. Shy of the mark repeatedly. And now making NIP sweat in pursuit of the never before achieved. Yeah, hot right now. It is, yeah, he's gonna have to be bailed out. His smoke will achieve it. He'll have a gap for vision. And Sam Pius has already taken down his support. They've got Hampus pinned. There's no way out for him. I say as he just walks away. Uh, Classic Hampus <laughs> maneuver in middle here. Pulling it off on the CT side. But again, this is crazy. Deaths has been getting this space and there's gonna be real problems on A because it's just Rez. Yeah, smoke donut and go. I this mean, is Riders' round to lose, Alex. It really is. Rez, however, has always been good at kicking up a fuss. When the cards are on the table, good flash. They don't quite find him. There it is. Death delivers. Hampus Temple, they scream. This is a big round for the Spaniards. Oh, Hampus again, causing so much chaos. Two from the M4. Device contributes as well. And something that looks so promising. They've fallen and scuffed. This could be a clutch though, right? 45 seconds on the clock. I know it's a one on three, but the HP of Device and Hampus, a stiff breeze is going to blow them over. Linus is the only one that he has to find here as a clean kill. And Linus has been, I don't want to say struggling, but he's at the bottom of the score, but only seven kills. Hampus coming in from behind the knife out. He might be the first death right here. He's not ready for this at all. That's the opener. There's 30 seconds now. There is a chance. It has to be brilliant here. Linus is actually pushing the issue. Alex just has to hit the DM headshot. Linus too quick. Miss Smoke again here. The little details might come back to haunt them. Especially if that is uh, one way adopted by Hampus. He will use it, looking to exploit it. Rez, aggressive, death, challenge, big win. Up against Rez, no less, and with a Galil. You couldn't ask for a better start to a round like this. One of the big names down the next to follow devices here. How many can he take with him? He's about to peer on into four. This is aggressive. Bomb Ball. spotted. Bomb spotted. He is being a bit passive here, Deaths. Wants to try and speed it up now. The smokes have landed. Quick boost. Marpos has been great for the riders, looking to apply as much pressure as he possibly it's can. A good molly. He does molly them out and continues to spray them down. Marpos 
desperate not to relinquish complete control here of Ancient. They have the plants and Pyres has the frag. NIP running out of hey. players and they will hit the safe key. Don't think one of them is going to get away from this. Pops Less device. Oh, loud. There you go. Popos from behind will take them all down. This is a drama now for NIP. Okay, okay. Well, down to pistols here. The riders get to level things up just against four USPs and one Deagle in Device's hands. And again, the Lost Burn is only 2,400 in the next, so it's the buy range, but it's not a beautiful buy. Why did I specify Live Snake as if it would be... Maybe as a prop snake. Prop snake. You don't know. People People got some stuff. Yeah. People got some things. It's a hard one to hit if you're doing the jump peak correctly. <laughs> oh. Reaction speed test. Imagine if Mopos had just hit that key at the wrong time. Some pirates could have knocked his head off. <laughs> that would have been the beginning of the end, it I would, think. It would, yeah. <laughs> well, they're being very uh, cautious is one way to put this here. But Rez, he's found Alex who's looking the wrong way. Rez, this could be the beginning of the end. Some pious with the save. Okay. The sniper overseeing business. He's watching the right place. Oh, catches a glimpse. Alex reacts. Uh, flustered a little here, but... There shouldn't be much more to this. Alex will acknowledge the potential aggressions and catching device on his crawl. Linus, however, is what? That's a little dink there. He's really taken down one nice shot, two there. on the USP. He's got nothing. Not a single penny invested. He can't get any more done. Sun Pius confirms our suspicions, but still hampers a problem, not for long. And Plopsky up to no good. They'll finish the job. God, that, why did that get scary? Imagine if they were P250. Two back-to-back -back best of threes here today. And the first map already delivering in buckets and spades. And we turn our attention back towards the B bomb site. Three players currently reside for NIP. Device with that AWP can be smoked off quite easily. You've also got Linus in the site. Watch out for those mollies. That spam can all be a bit of a problem. All right, Alex has got a game plan. In-game leaders. This is really where you find out if you can cut the mustard. Making the call in the gun round for all the marbles, and they do just go fall by the wayside Melting one by burning. one. Device did burn down to eight, but he still sticks around. Hard to stomach two openers from your adversary there. Movistar Riders definitely in a bit of a tailspin. Death's got the bomb there. If he gets caught as he has, they're running out of options and players. I'll have a second bite of the cherry in our final round of play, but NIP will be the first to 15 unless Sun Pius and Alex can do the impossible. They might even have to save here. Being cleared. Oh. Nice, fine. Device's greed may come back to haunt him. He just wanted to get it done, Chad, but Hampus calls the lane clear. They can suspect it's a ball in ramp, and another one this time on the tight line. Plopsky collects. It's all on to Alex. He's been tagged up heavily, and there's 15. We go. Everything they need for the final round of play. Oh. Okay, well, Hampus will give them the sound cue they were looking for, but it's not gonna be easy to isolate him, and he does already pull the parachute and get the hell out of there. It's back towards B again. This time it is Linus, the only man on the site. There's okay. no device here. Oh, yeah, they, they weren't too dissuaded from the failings of their They're previous. The They're in on the fade. Linus will get a rude shock as he jumps across. Up to Plopsky, smoke him off, and you should have a plan that rotates on its way. Plopsky causing more chaos. Catching the head of Davi G. Mopoz has been so good for the riders, but he'd have to do something sensational here. Averts his gaze flash on the is good. flash. Yeah, but there's three of them. All onto Deaths and Alex. This is so hard. How do they find the frags? Oh, and heartbreak for the Movistar. One step.